Conventional wisdom states that experience is always a good thing. If we've done a task before, conventional wisdom states we'll be better at it next time round. However, when leading change, we need to avoid what I call the experience trap. So what is the experience trap? We see this all the time when starting a new role or a new job. A challenge arises in the new situation and we instinctively reach for patterns that worked for us in the past. In a rapidly changing world, reaching back for tried and tested patterns can lead to disaster. Why? Because in a rapidly changing world, sometimes the very context has changed. It's like an elite basketball player trying to play a game of tennis for the very first time and being unaware that they're playing a totally different sport. So the same applies to projects and change programs. Yes, all projects are similar in some way. However, every project, every program is unique. With the right attention, we could, without the right attention, we could easily fall into what I'm calling the experience trap. So in this video, I'll share my thoughts on why experience could be our worst enemy and what we can do about it. So I'll start with the comfort zone conundrum. So picture this, we've been in the same industry for several years. We've mastered the ins and outs. We've made notable successes and we can refer to, we can even name drop personal acquaintances who are influential in our field. So this all fits neatly into our conventional picture of career success. Yet there is a bit of a catch. Our experience can make us comfortable and resistant to change. Our experience can make us blind to emerging tre trends and we can become stuck in a bubble of familiarity. So a bubble of familiarity that just blinds us. We don't realize that the world around us is evolving at lightning speed. So what can we do to break out of the comfort zone? When things get too comfortable, it often means we're missing something, possibly missing the bigger picture, possibly focusing on the wrong things. I like what Billie, Jean's, um, Billie Jean King stated, pressure is a privilege. We must be wary of the comfort zone and we can seek out the pressure of reinventing and improving ourselves daily. As leaders and change practitioners, we need to be very wary of the comfort zone. Something else we can do, the bias blind spots. So, so biases, there are these sneaky monsters that lock within all of us. The more experience we have, the deeper ingrained biases can cloud our judgment and hinder decision making. So we naturally become attached to past success. The more experience we have, the harder it is to see fresh perspectives. Now, what makes bias really dangerous for the experienced professional is that although the individual with the bias is unaware of the bias, everyone around them is fully aware of the bias. For example, if we have a bias against accepting negative news, people around us will avoid bringing bad news. Now this creates a reinforcing negative trend, making bad news harder and harder to share. So what can we do to avoid this bias blind spots? Well, we've got to switch things up a bit. So have you ever only ever led technology projects? Try something new. Have you always advocated for revenue growth? Revenue growth, try something new. Until we work in the, sh in in the shoes of our colleagues, we really don't know what we don't know. Um, finally, the curse of that's how we've always done it. So we all know this dreaded phrase, that's how we've always done it. And perhaps we may have used this phrase ourselves to get out of a tricky situation. The thing is, the thing is, when we're fix, fixated on the tried and true, we can miss out on exciting opportunities to improve. Leading change can be challenging. And the last thing we need is to be held hostage to traditions that no longer make sense. If something, if something doesn't work, we need the courage to change it. If a particular meeting series no longer makes sense, kill it. If a delivery model isn't working, change it. We can all challenge the status quo in a constructive manner. We can all question traditions. You know, perhaps, perhaps by challenging the status quo, we could discover a paradigm that goes on to radically transform our industry. So to conclude, experience is a great asset. Experience opens up new opportunities 
With experience, we can deal with challenges more effect effectively. However, when it comes to leading change, experience could be our worst enemy. We need to ensure expertise does not become a barrier to growth. We need to embrace change and challenge our biases. Remember, it is our willingness to learn, adapt, and think differently that will set us apart in a rapidly evolving business landscape.